My favorite thing about having a two-handed backhand in pickleball is your kind of like swinging volley type motion is I love being on this side and getting a volley and I get to whip it as hard as I can down the line in the middle or, in, or cross court and it's just one fluid motion and it's just like being back at the baseline but it's in the air and it's so helpful to speed it up put it away and kind of to like end the point really. Hey, I'm Emily Gaskins and I've been playing tennis my entire life, but I started playing pickleball about seven months ago. And today I'm gonna to teach you why it's so important to use a two-handed backhand. Okay, we're gonna start with the mechanics of a two-handed backhand and how you hit it. So you're gonna do an Eastern grip with your right, if you're right-handed and it's gonna be kind of on the outward side and then you're gonna put your left hand right on top of it, okay? Then, what's really important about a two-handed backhand is that you're bending your knees. Like, you have to bend your knees, like, over bend compared to your other shots. So you're bending your knees, your shoulder is pretty parallel with your knee and your face is turned down. You're bending, you do a little scoop motion and you finish where you should see the back of your paddle. So this is what it looks like. It's very similar to a tennis backhand, but you have to tweak it with pickleball in the ways of less of a swing. So it's a shorter swing, but it's quick and one fluid motion. Why should you use a two-handed backhand? I think it makes things a lot more fluid in one motion and you can hit it a lot harder. As a tennis player, I think it comes really naturally, but I think it just helps distinguish yourself from different players and also when you should use it best is when you're at the baseline and you can rip it like if you have the ability to speed it up that is the best but when you're short it really helps to come over the ball and have a good angle if you like this video go ahead like and subscribe and share it with all your friends okay this we're going to start with one of the drills that is really helpful for a two-handed backhand going cross court kind of a dink roller and you're gonna need someone to feed it to you. And you're gonna bend your knees extra, extra deep this time. And you're gonna go cross court. It's gonna be a rolling shot. That is the purpose of this shot. Okay, this is it. So you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna put it across court. Just a little bit of a flick of the wrist. Here we go. And you try to hit it as low as possible, but you want it to be over there in the side. Obviously, the more cross court, the better, but you have to be aware of the ATP shot, but this is my favorite. This is our second drill, and it's gonna be your swinging volley drill, so obviously you have to be behind the kitchen, but it's the same motion as the other ones, but you're really trying to drive the ball, can, different than the other shot, which was a little bit more of a lighter one. So, it works best. It doesn't really matter where you hit it, but we're gonna go cross court for here. Okay, volley. Oh, sorry, you're gonna hit it high. It's best when you go as far across as you can, but lot of spin. I love this shot. <laughs> okay, this is our third and final drill. It's gonna be the baseline shot, a middle shot, and a shorter shot. The back one is going to be a drive, and the second one, if they pop it back up, you're gonna drive again, and the third one's gonna be more of an angle. And so it'll be three shots, baseline, middle, drop. Oh, that's okay so as a summary we just did some drills and I would go out there and practice this two-handed backhand because it's super helpful and it will make your game better so please go try this two-handed backhand I think it's the best shot ever and will make you ten times better if you like this video then go ahead and like and subscribe for Cliff Pickleball